Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Pixelator. This tutorial is going to be a demonstration video on Photoshop halftones. And I'm going to go over a lot of different techniques and effects and cool things you can do with your photography in Photoshop. So let's get ready to go. First thing I'm going to do is open up my graphic and it's going to camera raw and I've already tweaked the color image a little bit. I shot this picture um, a couple weeks ago when Barack Obama was in LA and he was going down my street and they taped everything off and there's tons of cops there so I, I don't know, it's a cool image to play with so let's get started and you can grab this image on my, it's going to be available, all these files are going to be available on my website. First thing I want to do is duplicate the layer. I'm going to grab it and move it down to this layer option and duplicate it. And I just want to play with this shape a little bit and with the liquify tool. So I'm going to bring that into liquify. And I'm going to grab the brush density and turn that up a little bit. Brush size, I'm sorry, I'm going to turn the brush size up. And I'm just going to make his uniform a little bit more snug fitting. Okay, that's cool. Let's go ahead and bring that back. Look at before and after. I like that. So the next thing I want to do is create a halftone. And this halftone feature is pretty nice in Photoshop. And if you know how to work it, you can do a lot of things in it, in creating illustrations. So let's cancel out of here. First thing I'm going to do is set our palette to default. That's right here, just click that. Go to filters, sketch, half tone pattern. Okay, now we can see our actual half tone. And usually the contrast is set really high. And I never use this setting. With a, with a high contrast. I use a lower setting, a lower contrast, and I just dial in the size dots that I want. And you can play around to get an idea of how it's going to look. I think, I think two is good. And I'm going to select OK. What we want to do is create a threshold layer. And by having a half tone, this with a lower contrast, we can control our threshold. We we can control our contrast. We can control our how fine. We we, we have a lot more control of the half tone. I don't know how you explain it in words, but this way, I guess the exposure is adjustable. And not only is it adjustable certain areas can have a different exposure than other areas which really allows us to get the look that we're going for and let's start with the helmet I want to take this helmet and go in here let's turn this off for a minute Good. nice selection on the helmet so I'm just going to go and trace around here. Okay. So let's go ahead and turn our... Let's label this first. Let's label this halftone source. Okay. 
Now what I want to do... Let's play around with the halftones on the hat. And let's select threshold again. Now we have a threshold selection set to the helmet, which is pretty cool. And allows us to really dial that in and get a nice exposure the way that we want. And I feel like overall I want the image to be a little bit more solid with the shape. So I'm just going to turn down the body to about there. And go back to the hat. I'm going to bring that up a little bit more. Okay. Now there's some... I want for the, this figure to be isolated, so I'm going to just create another layer. And I'm going to paint out some of this detail. And then we'll create a background. I'm just going to turn that to white. I'll actually turn that black. Okay. And to do that, you just grab your bucket tool, you hit G, and hold down Shift, and you click in this outside canvas area, and you can change the colors. So I like some of the details here. This little arrow on his jacket. So I'm going to create another threshold selection. You can see we have nice control over that. We can just bring that in there. And I also want to mask these keys. They're a nice detail, but I don't I think the hands are going to look stronger if this area is just black. And this is a badge. I'm just going to bring back that word police. And I'm going to open this up. Just make it a nice open shape. And take out all of this detail so that's pretty nice let's go back to our original just see Got some cool things going on now let me see if I can break all that into one shape. And yeah. What I want to do now is I'm going to group all this stuff. So I'm going to select it. Select one layer. Holding down shift. I'm going to select the top layer. And then command G. Group. I'm just going to call this cop. And I'm going to create a new layer. And I'm going to I'm going to merge this layer. So holding down Command, Option, Shift, and E, I get a merged image. So I'm going to create a, a uh, I want this to be like a wallpaper. So I'm going to create a 1920 by 1080 document. Let's call this uh, Police. And let me grab him and drag him onto this layer. Okay. Let's go ahead and minimize this cop. And now we got our police. Let's go ahead and duplicate that cop. And let's flip it horizontally. We've got like a standoff going here. 
And I'm going to set this next layer. I'm duplicating again. Just Control J. And I'm supposed to multiply. And let's just have three. Okay. Let's group those together. Select them and Command G. I'm laying that left cop. Left, please. And here we go. Same thing. Multiply. And multiply. Set this whole group to multiply. Let's see and bring them a little closer. I think it gives us more attention. Okay, go ahead and just I'm gonna center that off a little bit. Okay, now let's go ahead and bring some texture in here. And I have this uh, scan of a Photo copy, it's just generic image. You can see that. So I'm going to grab that and just copy that. And let me group these guys together. This is our right wing, our left wing. Let's go ahead and paste our texture in here. All right. And rotate. Now I'm going to set that to screen. And I'm going to Command Shift U, desaturate. And the texture is a little bit big, so I'm just going to shrink it down like that. And let's repeat it. Join those two together. All right, let me join those two together. I just set this to screen. Okay. Go ahead and close that out. Now, I have some more. Texture and bring it in here. I'll go ahead and copy that. And let me paste that. I'm just going to stretch that all. There we go. And if I set that to screen, what happens? Not exactly what we want is, let me see, let's invert that. Ah. So this to multiply. Now what I need to do is, let me go ahead and bring all of these onto one layer, make it easier to play with it. I'm going to invert this. Actually, let me see. Let's create an invert this way. There we go. And let's create a levels mask. Just pump the 
contracts. Okay. I like that. So what I want to do now is let's make this black and white. And let's play with the levels on here too. Pretty good. I'm gonna sharpen that. Now, I think if I turn this invert off, oh, I like that. It's nice. Okay. I'm done experimenting. What I want to do is I'm going to grab these two guys. I'm going to shrink them. All right, now let's color some of these guys in. Um, this right side. I'm going to set up a gradient map. And I'm going to select the black color and let's go ahead and select blue. Got our blue cops. Okay. And I'm going to draw a mask and let's go ahead and delete that oh, the wrong side we're going to invert that and let's bring this up here and invert that mask and on this other side let's have our red cops okay so this is a really quick demonstration of some of the cool effects that you can get in Photoshop and some techniques that you might use to create illustrations from your photography. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and make sure you subscribe for all kinds of cool Photoshop tutorials and a variety of graphics. Alright, bye bye, peace. Thank you for watching. Please visit our website at www.pixelator.biz for more highly informative computer graphic tutorials and training videos.